Now, I remember one yoga teacher who used to say, put your right arm over your left and hug yourself. And then she said, now put your left arm over your right and hug your evil twin. (laughs) So part of this practice of, of radical acceptance revisited is knowing that whatever arises, uh, whatever we can't embrace with love imprisons us, no matter what it is. If we're at war with it, we stay in prison. But I often have encountered, it's been now, oh, since, I, since Radical Sun, it's like about 13 years since it's come out, the biggest fear I encounter is if I try to embrace myself, if I try to bring this wing of allowing and compassion to myself, I'll never get better. I'll never be a better person. In fact, it's indulgent. I'll only become more of that person I don't like. That's the fear of radical acceptance. How many of you can relate to that? That if I start loving myself unconditionally, I'll get worse. Can I see? I mean, it's really natural. We wouldn't stay so hard on ourselves if we didn't think it worked. Okay? But I I often... uh, quote Carl Rogers, psychologist Carl Rogers, who said, it was, wasn't until I accepted myself just as I was that I was free to change. That in other words, that this acceptance, this recognizing what's going on inside us and this deep unconditional tenderness is the prerequisite to change. Mm-hmm.